Let me tell you about the town of Gray to see if this small town in southern Maine would be a good place for you to build a home or perhaps to build a business. Dick Cahill, who works as Gray's town planner, tells me there are approximately 7,500 people living in Gray year-round at this time, and of that number there are about 1,000 people over the age of 60. And the school department tells me that there are about 1,000 school-aged children in town. So the town's population is pretty evenly spread in age. Average per capita income is about $28,000 per year in Gray, which is pretty much on par with the average income of other towns in southern Maine. If you look at Gray from the air, two important features may surprise you. One is the large proportion of forest land that still remains within Gray's borders. Many outside of town are not familiar with the fact that Gray encompasses a 4,400 acre game preserve, which provides special protection to deer and other wildlife, and offers an exceptional chance for first-hand observation of main animals in the wild. Gray's Libby Hill Park lies within this preserve and offers well-marked trails for people to use both summer and winter. A second important feature you will notice should you fly over Gray is the amount of Gray's 42 square miles that is taken up by large bodies of water. This abundance of water should not be surprising really since Gray is known by many for the quality of the water to be found here. Its town water comes from a source that is closely related to that which supplies Poland Spring Bottling Company with its world-renowned drinking water. And who in town can fail to notice in summertime how the population swells when people move into the lakefront cottages and boys and girls camps so popular in Gray? In fact, Gray's lakes are so predominant it is said that the town's boundaries were set at six miles wide by seven miles deep instead of the earlier planned six miles by six miles square because the original petitioners to the Massachusetts court felt they were being shortchanged by the fact that so much of the area was made up of water and they insisted on the extra mile of depth to make up for that. It was forest for logging and tillable land for farming that they were interested in, not lakefront property. How times have changed. There's apparently a little uncertainty as to the exact origin for the name Gray. Originally, before incorporation in 1778, even before Maine was a state, the town was referred to as New Boston Plantation, which coincides with the fact that its neighbor, New Gloucester, was also named after a Massachusetts town. But about the time of incorporation, a Thomas Gray, one of the instrumental early landowners, was killed in a carriage accident and so it is likely that the name Gray was given to the town to honor his memory. It is interesting to note that the Revolutionary War was still underway at this time, and the record shows that a number of Gray residents left home to serve in that war. Gray continues to be a town that values its heritage. There is an active historical society in town that maintains a large collection of materials relating to Gray's history, even to pre-revolutionary times. The Civil War Monument at the center of town was dedicated in 1911 to honor Gray residents, remarkably numbering in the hundreds who served in the Civil War. And within its cemetery lies the body of a southern soldier killed in that war, and accidentally moved here and laid to rest and honored still for the war's great sacrifices. Ready? Gray is the site of the first woolen mill in America, a mill founded by one Samuel Mayall, who was successful along with his brother in thwarting a reputed British prohibition on importing machinery to manufacture textiles in the colonies. Mayall made a name for himself in the early annals of Gray, and the Mayall name remains prominent in town even today. Samuel Mayall's son, Samuel Mayall II, was elected to Congress in the late 1800s, the only Gray resident ever to serve in Congress. The site of the historic old woolen mill on Collier Brook, with parts of the old structure still standing, is now being preserved for all to see. 
Gracie has a school department with neighboring New Gloucester, and from the early days of one-room schools and the grand old Pennell building that served as Gray's High School for over 80 years, Gray's children now attend the highly regarded schools of the district that play an active role in the life of both Gray and New Gloucester. My name is Victoria Burns and I am proud to be the superintendent of MSAD 15. Our five schools serve approximately 2,000 students from the communities of Gray and New Gloucester. And if I were to describe our school system, the words committed and energetic come to mind. The community, school board, parents, and staff work to provide the resources needed to fulfill our mission. And that mission is all students need to be prepared for the world of work and the world of citizenship. MSAD 15 also works closely with the resources within the communities, such as Fiddlehead School for the Performing Arts, Pineland, uh, the YMCA, and the town's recreational departments to offer programs for our students such as after-school activities and homework help. Students in grades 3 through 8 performed above the state average in reading on the main educational assessments. Our graduates from Grand New Gloucester High School go on to high-performing colleges and university. MSAD 15 is on the move, so please come and visit our schools. Although a small town by most standards, Gray is growing. It is centrally located a short distance between two of Maine's largest population centers, Portland to its south and Lewiston-Auburn to its north. This makes Gray just a few minutes drive not only to the jobs those cities provide, but also to all the services that those population centers offer, such as shopping, transportation, health care, and higher education. Gray has been called the crossroads of Maine and its center can be a very busy place indeed. The highways that meet at its center lead to Maine's beautiful rolling countryside and mountains to the north and west and to Maine's incomparable seashore to the south and east. A Madison Avenue promoter no doubt would proclaim that Gray has the ocean as its doorstep, the mountains as its backyard and nature at its feet. Gray is truly at the center of a great variety of natural attractions and it does indeed offer enough elbow room to build a home where you will find quiet enjoyment for a private life. With plenty of space still available to build a business you may want to locate near the center of activity. And nearby there are attractions galore to truly satisfy the interests of everyone. The steady traffic through Gray Center on a busy Friday afternoon attests that surely great attractions are drawing people to all sides of town. The main turnpike, originally constructed in the 40s and 50s as a civil engineering landmark and one of the most important transportation links in Maine, passes through Gray and serves the town and surrounding towns with a convenient exit here. Gray's accessible and central location has made it the ideal place for regional headquarters for state agencies including the Department of Transportation, the Maine State Police, the Maine Warden Service, and the Maine Forest Service. It is also home to a recently constructed National Weather Service station that gathers critical radar and other data for the area's weather prediction. In fact, the steady traffic that has become a hallmark of Gray Village has brought about a new bypass route designed to alleviate congestion at the center of town. Now how's that for being at the center of things? The Maine Wildlife Park brings to town numbers of visitors from around the state and around the world. Most of the animals housed here are native to Maine and many are being cared for while convalescing from injuries sustained in the wild. This park, a short distance north of Gray Village, really is an unheralded delight that people of all ages can enjoy. Contained within the park is a fish hatchery which, when it was built in the 30s, was reputedly the largest facility of its kind in the world. The brook trout raised here for stocking Maine's lakes and streams thrive in the pure, clear water that Gray is noted for. 
partially within gray and reaching into neighboring New Gloucester and Pommel is the handsomely renovated and expanded Pineland Farms. Here, surrounding the newly restored buildings of Pineland Business Park, are miles of specially maintained trails for hiking, cross-country skiing, and horseback riding, and a spectacular world-class flower garden is meticulously maintained there for everyone to appreciate. Gray has several well-established and very active church communities serving the spiritual needs of the townspeople, and many service organizations play an important role in the life of this small town. There are two community newspapers filled with all the local news and mailed free to the town each week. Although many people who live in Gray work outside the town, there are dozens of very successful businesses within town that provide close to home occupations for Gray residents and convenient services for all. Services that are often missing in small towns. From a food market and several gas and convenience stores to auto service garages and furniture store, several restaurants including Cole Farms restaurant established in 1952 and still going strong with a reputation known far and wide for good food and great service. There are flower shops and a tree service company, landscape and construction companies, a pharmacy, dentists and doctors and lawyers and real estate companies, hair salons and hardware stores and several banks. The list goes on of businesses conveniently located to serve the needs of Gray and the surrounding area. There is even the tremendous new 18-hole Spring Meadows Golf Course, which includes a popular function hall and is fast becoming one of the leading tee-off points in southern Maine. And lest we forget, there is Lonnie's Hot Dog Stand, from which Lonnie Humphrey has been serving up his famous dogs in Gray Village for going on 30 years. The small town of Gray, Maine has a lot going for it, and welcomes you to join in and become part of what it offers. So if you're looking for a place to build a home or to build a business, take a close look at Gray. I think you will agree that Gray is a natural choice. <music>